hi everyone in this video i am going to create this simple pure css slider as you can see here so this is a simple slider and every from every few seconds after it's changing the image so let's get started now and let's create with css as always i have a starter file and here is a, some different image and here is a, a index.html and style.css so first i am going to take one container so let's give the class name slider and slider container contains three different items so first so slider item and this item contain one image so simply give img tag and this image first image and let's copy two times more and now here and here we can see and here we need to two and this one three and let's open this live server so we can see our output here you can see all images has been loaded in the browser now let's resize and let's create and now we need to give some style so first select slider slider here we need need will be need to 100% and we can change later so i will show you later and here max height i want 20 rem for now and here we can display grid and we here we want three different column so first share grid template column and we can simply repeat and three we have a three mess and three and here every mess hundred percent so should be hundred percent now here we can see only one image is showing right now because every image in horizontal axis as you can see here and we need to overflow header and overflow header and now as you can see here and let's select a slider item slider and item and keep simply with 100% height should be 100% and we need to here overflow hidden and it is not necessary but just i want to add if sometime is overflowing anything it will look bad so i'm just giving overflow hidden and slider item and emails we need to fit on the item container with 100% and height 100% and here we can give object fit cover so now we can see here is our ms and now it is fully responsive as you can see and now we need to create animation so here we need to go and here keyframe and here sliding and here we need to 0% and transform translate x0 and we want to change on 25% transform 
translate x minus 100% and now we can see here and let's call it inside of slider item so here we need to animation and simple sliding and one second and linear and now we can see as you can see here image goes out and here we need to write infinite as you can see come and go so we need to create one more and here we give 55 second but here as you can see here now 200 percent one image 0 to 100 percent second image 100 to 200 percent and now we can see it's working but is not waiting for some seconds so here we just need to write bet so i want 20 seconds 0 to 20 seconds it transform 0 axis and 25 to 50 seconds bet for this one and here we need to add 98 percent and now we can see but here we need to change some timing so it will a smooth so now 10 seconds and we can see yeah it's looking great but after this one it's a start from the one as you can see here one two and then it will start from one now as you can see and i hope you learn and how to create this type of slider it is really impressive one thing we can more do with it we can here here is a fixed 20 rem max height here we can change the v height as per the viewport width and whenever we can change width and now you can see it's automatically increasing the height of the slider so here give some 30 vw and now it's looking good for phone and now and it is looking for nice for desktop so in this video i am going to end and i hope you understood this one and i will meet you in next one stay tuned with me